What's up, dudes? Guess where I am? In the tub. I hear rub a dub dub. The butcher, the baker, and the candle maker all want the high priestess. Oh my god. They realize she's the supreme empress. Oh my god. What are the voices saying, Airhead? Well. What's the difference between body dysmorphia and body dysphoria? Oh. Vocabulary lesson today, darlings. What is the difference between body dysmorphia and body dysphoria? They kind of sound the same, but they're not. So, mm -hmm. we'll start with body dysphoria. Somebody might watch somebody cry. Body dysphoria is the easiest way to explain it is what transgender people have. Where, for example, they may look in a mirror or have this feeling without the mirror of, I'm not in the right body. My body is not right for me. That is what body dysphoria has. Okay. Body dysmorphia. So pretty much it's it's a probably a safe set. Uh-huh. I hear set settle the score. It's probably a safe bet to say most transgender people have body dysphoria. They are not in the right vessel or their vessel isn't the way they want it to be or identify it as. Okay. I hear spit in my eye. Body dysmorphia is transgender people can also have body dysmorphia and non-transgender people also have body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia, most, most non-transgender people do not have body dysphoria. They identify with whatever sex their body is that they were born with, but they may have body dysmorphia. So body dysmorphia is when you look in the mirror and you see something totally different looking back at you. You have a fucked up filter. This is the easiest way to say it. Due to some sort of childhood trauma that you don't see yourself as you truly are. So for example, somebody who may have been overweight growing up, maybe smoking hot in a healthy way, but they look in the mirror and all they see is a big fat slob because they have trauma of being called those horrible names. And nobody is a big fat slob, no. And everybody who's making comments on people's weight, yeah. Google right now fertility goddess or fertility goddess fetish, or fertility fetish, you will see a big, curvy, divine feminine body type. Like really curvy. That's a goddess. The fertility goddess. That's a vessel for making life. All right. So people with body dysmorphia can look in the mirror and be like, what do I even look like today? I have no idea what's gonna look back at me. Cause every time I look in the mirror, I know it's me, but I look a little bit different or tweaked out every time I look in it. 
And if I look in the mirror, yeah, if you spectrum me too, if you look in the mirror too long, your own eyes might freak you the fuck out. Because they start literally looking back at you. So once again, the mirror exercise, I have a reading, it's called, here's the deal with the mirror. I'll link it in the comment section, but I'll kind of sum it up real quick here. Spirit says, if you think you may have body dysmorphia, where you look in the mirror and you're not quite sure what you'll see looking back, what version of you? Spirit says, look in the mirror, and just, this isn't like narcissist gazing into the pond. No, this is you getting the honest truth from spirit. And if you're going through the cleanse, this is why. So spirit wants you to look in the mirror and just objectively look at yourself. Notice how you may have changed. Maybe notice a wrinkle or a spot or a perceived flaw, something like that. And just observe it. So yes, I I observe that I see whatever this is. Then step away from the mirror. And then about 10 minutes later, look one more time at the mirror. And when you go back, there's a very good chance that when you look in the mirror, it'll seem like the mirror is playing tricks on you. Because you look in the mirror and all of a sudden, you look like the same thing you just saw, only tweaked a little bit better. Like you may have an Instagram filter on you, or it's like a nicer version of that harsh view of yourself you just saw. And if you were to say, somebody may get new glasses, I hear, which one looks better? This one or this one? If you say which one looks better, you'll say number two for sure. Yeah, so what Spirit says is those with body dysmorphia, the second time you look in the mirror, that's what you really look like. The better version is what everybody else sees. That first version is what your trauma has allowed you to see. And so that's why spirit is putting you through the cleanse because you are so beautiful. It's true. You got your karmic reward. You may have been a dork, for lack of a better way to say it, growing up. You may have had people pick on you, maybe even for your appearance or being different. And now you're getting your karmic reward. You're a smoking hot cutie pie now. Oh my fucking God, the mirror don't lie, dude. The second time, it don't lie. Oh my God, it's true. Congratulations. It's true. Listen to me. You're fucking hot. Oh my God.